key facet of organizing your layout starts with a baseline grid, which isn't visible to start off with. So if I go up to the view menu and down to grids and guides in the sub menu, I'll click on show baseline grid. Now that's the default appearance of the baseline grid, but you can enhance its appearance and make it a little bit easy to work with visually. This is a little bit garish. To do so, if you're on a PC, you'll have to go to the edit menu and go down to preferences, which will be somewhere down here. And I'm on a Mac, so I have to go to InDesign preferences and then choose grids. So from here, uh, baseline grid options. I don't want the color to be light blue. That's just too strong and it'll get in the way of you being able to see your layout correctly. So I'm going to click on the drop down menu and I tend to find that light gray is better. I don't want that to start, as you can see, 12.7 millimeters from the top of the page. I actually want it to start flush or level with the margins at the top. And then in terms of increment every set to 12 points by default, I'm going to change that to 11 points. Now this figure is really important because it relates to the leading value that our body copy will have. So thinking about your articles and your magazines, yes, you've got your heading, your subheading, but then when we're into the actual main body of the text, the paragraphs that has a size of its text and it has gaps between every line, that's the leading. Now for this magazine and quite commonly the leading value set to 11 points. It can vary from that, but I'm just going with a common value. View threshold. This relates to at what point will this grid be visible on screen? Well, at the moment, I'll have to have a view of my page at 75% or greater. As you can see, I'm viewing my page at 96% at the moment. So to be perfectly honest, you can leave that as it is. If you're viewing your page further out than 75%, the baseline grid will disappear because InDesign assumes that that far out, you're not going to need to see it or utilize it. And then finally, the checkbox for grids in back, you'll need to turn that off. We are ultimately going to deposit images into our publications. When that happens and that checkbox is turned on, it will start to hide your baseline grid. Well, that's no good. Your baseline grid needs to be visible constantly so that you can use it to its full potential. I'll click OK to apply those edits. You'll now see that those grid lines are paler, it makes it easier to work with. And we now have a grid system that actually is going to respond effectively to our body copies leading value of 11 points.